and the lines still look like that two hours later. Are you a Kasama? You see a big line outside? You pulled up and there's a big line outside. First Filipino Michelin star restaurant in the world. I had to go there. I know that well, there was no way we can do dinner with the limited amount of time and financial resources we have right now. There was no way we could do dinner. So I was like, it's Sunday, I'm definitely doing brunch. And then I was excited because they only did certain dishes on weekends anyway. So I was like, cool, we'll be there. And then I got like super disappointed when we got there and there was like this long ass wait, even though it's been like two hours since they opened. Yeah, right here is fine. And then we waited and then some guy came out and was like, oh, your best chance to not like run out of something you've been hoping to try is to pre-order. So I went on my phone, pre-ordered, and of course I found out everything I wanted was sold out. I found out that they blocked certain items to just make sure the people who are waiting in line also have a chance to pick out items that they wanted so they blocked like <clears throat> pick up only orders for their main popular items like their ube huckleberry bass cheesecake i wound up getting everything i wanted except maybe the mango tart that they were featuring just for this week that's also me. <laughs> I like that. We've got our combo breakfast yeah, that's for you. So that's you again. Yeah. And we've got our combo sandwich. Yeah. Is that mine? That's mine. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Everything looks so good. Yeah, make a This is pork adobo. I hate bringing you everywhere because you what always complain. This? What is this? This is their house made tocino, house made longanisa. They make a papaya salad, like pickled papaya. And then garlic fried rice. Yeah. Yo, this and is then spicy. this is pork belly. And this is like their Chicago, like style, Chicago style Filipino. I, don't lie. I tried this pork already. This is freaking dope. This is amazing already. And then this is their. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's That's on like a pundi salt type the bed. Let me see. It's a longanisa patty with looks like a, a souffle egg and cheese. I need ketchup. Mm. That's actually really oh my god, the egg is like melting your mouth. Jaden will like this egg. Mm. 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 Crispy pork double. Crispy, glazy. I don't like the rice is kinda good. I like the sandwich though. Is garlic? Oh this sandwich is one, you gotta eat it. With the bend. He's just trying to double. The reach over. That is like one of the best sandwiches I've ever had. Truffle croissant. He's eating the truffle croissant. It's crushing. Next we've got the foie one. Try foie, Jaden. No, food was great. Ube latte, black sesame latte, and then the kalamazoo lemonade. Before she drinks this, let me taste this. See, that's, that's the casino, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try their 
egg sandwich? Mm. I'm just gonna put some of this on my sandwich. Mm, I'm supposed to try everything. You gotta eat it like a Chicago style. Remember an owl sandwich? You gotta like yeah. do a nine degree sandwich. It was good. That's one of like, the best sandwiches I've ever had in my yeah. life. How do you feel as a Filipino chef? What Filipino chefs come down to that? Area? I think that Filipino cuisine has definitely come a long way. Like growing up, I was always introduced to Filipino food as like this comfort, homey, stewy type food to the point where like I eat it every day and you know, you get those people who are like, oh, I'll never get sick of this. We're always taught to eat what we had at home. Like we didn't go out to eat. And when we did, it was very, very, very scarce. Like being away from home, and not being surrounded by a lot of Filipino food made me miss it more. And so it's it's more a nostalgia. So to find out that it was refined in some way to the point where it's Michelin star like level, I think is very impressive. And like I was definitely curious to see how exactly they did that. I say it all the time because I'm the sandwich king. I got a sandwich. This may not look like it, but this is probably one of the best sandwiches I ever had in my freaking life. They dip it in like an adobo jus. That's solid. Oh my, oh my god, just keep throwing it now. You just want chips, baby? Here. I can't give this to him though, because I'm afraid it has any Jay, you're making a mess, baby. I know. <laughs> Want to try a piece, Ube huckleberry. I don't like this adobo. Slaps. I really liked it. I was inspired by some of the things. I was inspired. Inspired is another fancy word for like I'm going to copy that idea. <clears throat> no, I thought I was. I was very impressed to see an actual Filipino restaurant use authentic. Filipino techniques and cuisine and refine it in a way where it was deemed worthy to gain a Michelin star. Like, I think that's amazing. We were only in Chicago for like six hours. Felt like longer because we were waiting in baggage claim for like over an hour. And then by then, maybe, maybe I would have gotten a mango tart, but I didn't. I was really pissed.